Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing my rainbow shiners and we're going to give you a care guide, a how-to of sorts on how to maintain these fish and keep them happy and healthy for the years to come. Um, well, for starters, rainbow shiners love. But before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that way you can be updated on all my latest posts. Cause that's always lit uh, today we're here filming in my kitchen this is actually my dining room table right here that you see I don't see a little bit of a table right here but I just moved some of the plants around so you can see them and get a good view um, they're actually kind of taking over my house it's kind of a lie <laughs> so let's just get right into the video uh, one is temperature two flow and three their appetite one and two I cover later on inside of the video but let's just talk about the appetite real quick these fish can eat which also means that you're going to want to make sure you keep up on your water changes to maintain water clarity and cleanliness you do not want to let the tank slip on these fish because they're wild caught and now they're kind of being tank raised they're kind of not used to experiencing ammonia and stuff like that so i feel like if they were to experience it they wouldn't handle it that well that being said i feel like i did have an ammonia spike in that tank just a little bit of ammonia and nitrates um and they actually did pretty well, surprisingly. The only thing that kind of didn't do too well was some of my gobies. I hate to admit that, but we all make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Even though we've been in here for a few years. That being said, make sure you keep your fish fed, okay? Rainbow shiners love to eat. I noticed that when they don't eat, they actually get very aggravated and they'll fight like a lot of the fish in the tank. They won't actually fight them, but they'll fight each other and then they'll nip on some of the other fins in the tank sometimes. Like I noticed my long fin white cloud mountain minnows, some of their fins were like nipped a little bit and it was because they're red and the, fin, and the red fins look like the red pellets that I feed the fish. So every now and then they would just be like, Arr! let me eat that because it looks tasty. But Make sure you keep your rainbow shiners fed, guys. It's not a joke. Hello, everyone. Today I'm feeding my tank, this 40 gallon tank, fluval bug bites. The beautiful blue fish that you see right there in the center and to the left is my, they, well, they are my rainbow shiners. The duller ones are the females, but they still get very beautiful and colorful. They have a beautiful sunset stripe that just goes right down. It kind of glows like a neon tetra stripe does but they're just so beautiful i'm so in love with them and they capture my eye every time i walk by the tank and they literally demand my attention whenever they see me just a peek they come up to the front of the tank and they greet me this is them looking for food this is my male right here i only have two males in this tank and four females so six in total look at him like trying to bite around so adorable they literally shine from across the room and as you're staring at them, it's kind of hard to stop looking at the tank. I probably look at this tank for 30 minutes. Well, anywhere from 20 to an hour, 20 minutes to an hour. It's not even a joke. I am so in love with this tank and the fish inside of it that they keep me entertained for a very long time. Up top right here is my dominant male. You can tell because he's kind of like a cherry red like a beautiful pink raspberry color along with those blues and purples and I guess you can kind of see why they call them a rainbow shiner like, it looks like they have almost every single color except I guess green <laughs> but yeah that lateral stripe that you see going down from the face to the tail it's literally glowing you guys can see that right it looks like a sunset or like a cherry beam or like some type of like energy field from like an anime or something weird but you know they're, they're beautiful. I honestly couldn't catch the male up top that well because he was shining so bright that his colors were like reflecting the light back at the camera so strong and intensely. In person, they're, they're truly a sight to behold. I, re I truly recommend this fish to anybody um, who knows how to keep a subtropical tank, which means a cool water tank, colder on the colder side. I noticed these fish really, really thrive in... Um, on a constant temperature of 72 degrees Fahrenheit. In their natural habitat in the summer, obviously temperatures rise. So it is natural for them to go through a warmer period in nature and at home. So if you want, you can replicate that in the summer. Um, 
I noticed that mine were exhibiting breeding behavior now in January. And that only happened because I actually have the heater next to this tank. The heaters in my house run when I turn them on, but I can't control which one turns on. So all the ones in the house turn on. So the one inside of my fish room kind of heats the tanks up a bit. So I have to be careful with that and make sure that it doesn't get too hot. But it didn't really get that warm at most. I think it went up to 74 or 75 degrees and the rainbow shiner started getting super super red and cherry like but um here you can see them in the morning right before i turn the light on and this is them just chilling around you can see the two males swimming around looking so beautiful that blue is stunning and it sometimes turns into purple i don't know if you can tell that it's like a bluish purple right now that red horizontal line that they have is like quiet and it's very beautiful magenta -y appearance now the difference between the male and the females are the males are very colorful and a little thinner and robust and the males like to chase the females around. The females are way thicker, a little duller, but can get very beautiful as well. Like the female on the right is showing some blues and pinks, kind of like the males. They, they really give the males um, some competition. I actually see sometimes that they would, they would confuse me when they were younger. They would both kind of just like look the same but now that they're older you can clearly tell them apart female fish are usually thicker than their male counterparts because they have to hold hundreds of eggs and come breeding time they will release the eggs into the water column and into the rocks and the males will go and fertilize them externally one last thing to keep in mind guys is that this fish really really loves a high flow you need to have a turnover rate of about 10 to 12 times of what's going on inside that tank. I know that sounds crazy, but it's possible. You can definitely do it. Get a power head, get something, and you will be rewarded. These fish literally chase the current. I bet you if there was like a waterfall system and they had arms or something, they would try to climb up that bee, okay? This picture right here is a still of my males, and you can see how beautiful they get. And this is a video right here, one of my males chowing down on some Rapashi Soylent Green. I put that in there for the gobies, but the minnows and the shiners really, really enjoy it as well. Also guys, I've had great success with this fish. This was my first time owning rainbow shiners and I got them way back in June or July and it is now January, the end of January, about to be February and they're still healthy and beautiful and still, re still rewarding me with their beauty till this day. I recommend this fish to anyone. All you need to do is make sure you keep the water cool, make sure you keep the water clean, and make sure you keep the flow and current strong. They love all of those three things and you will see greatness.
So this is one of those days I was telling you guys about when I said the heater was on and the tank went up a few degrees. Look at this male, all sparked up and ready to breed. Super red, super raspberry-like, still maintaining that blue and purple color. It's truly, truly a sight. And the lights were off. The only light that was coming in was from a, basically like a shade that I had on and it, it was not even sunny that day. So you can just see how beautiful they are in almost no light. One thing anyone can appreciate about this fish is that they are very tight schoolers and I would want to say maybe 90% of the time they are together. You will not really see them apart. This right here is right after a water change and you can see how everyone huddles up into like a little ball over here. I love it. I literally cannot wait to add the extra rainbow shiners that I have in my quarantine tank to the right of this tank over here. I have an extra seven to add. And if you see that really sickly skinny female there with her gills open like that, that's a birth defect, the really big gill lining like that. I was kind of upset, well, very upset that Imperial Tropical sent me that fish because I only ordered seven of them and then they were only able to send me six and then they sent me one of them like looking really ugly so the next image you're gonna see is a still image that i took of the fish when i turned the light on and it was darkness already so it kind of was like they were stunned and just waking up i literally was so amazed by how much color they still had even while sleeping in the dark this tank you see here is the young batch that i have to the right in a 29 gallon so it's seven rainbow shiners in here, two males, four females, looking amazing. Oh wait, I'm sorry, two males, five females, looking amazing. I also, they also share this tank with 60 other gobies, Stiphodon archopropurius. Those fish are actually for sale, guys. I live in the New York, New Jersey area, so if you want some Stiphodon archopropurius, they are for sale. You can come pick them up for me, we can work it out or I can do a delivery system to you. I'm currently selling them for $10 each, which is a steal, especially if you're gonna get them delivered or, you know, picked up or whatever. So let me know because the only places you can find those fish are online and they're usually for sale for 14 to $20. So I'm giving them, you, giving them to you for 10 and you're gonna really love them. They're gonna really enjoy these pieces. When you get a good group of them, they become very visible and outgoing. Here you can see a group of males talking to each other. It's really cool.
And this is what the gobies will turn into after a few months of maturing.
I thought I'd, I'd add in some bonus footage here of one of my red nearite snails cleaning the lid of the tank. Its shell's peering back into the water and it's kind of like a reverse shark fin peering out of water. I like to think of it as like what a fish's perspective of us entering their environment is like. It's pretty cool to see. Aren't these young rainbow shiners beautiful? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments of my rainbow shiners, the young rainbow shiners. Also guys, would you be willing to purchase the Archipopurius gobies from me? I'm noticing that they're doing very well. They're looking very healthy and beautiful. Um, they're coloring up very nicely. I've had them for about two months now in quarantine. I've done the medication trio and the levamisole treatment to make sure that they're completely dewormed and they're looking amazing. Just make sure you hit me up on my Instagram if you're interested. This is in the New York, New Jersey area. I will be more than happy to deliver them to you or you can come pick them up from me. We can just work out a price for everything like that. So hit me up. I have 60 of them. I don't want the stock to just disappear so quickly. So, or I mean, hopefully everything just goes by quickly because I'm really trying to get rid of them. Well, I guess that's basically it. We're signing off now. So peace. First of all, y'all see that? Mm. Do y'all like that? I've been watching JTV a lot. It's a YouTube channel on here on Jewels, and I'm just like so inspired to collect jewelry now. Um, the top ring is a Ethiopian opal, and the bottom is chromium diopside crystals. Beautiful, beautiful as a motherfucker. <laughs>